Hi everyone, I'm Myra. Welcome to Camp Mai Mai. And today I'm here at the Grand Canyon, camp, the Mather Campground of the Grand Canyon, here with my brother-in-law, Barry Frank. Hello. Who has built the ultimate camping trailer. Taking time out to be and live my life off screen. Taking time out to be. So as Myra has said, I um, built this trailer. It was actually given to me. It looked a lot different about six months ago. Uh, we'll have some pictures to show you what it looked like beforehand. I took all the things from all the years of camping that we've done and decided to make a, uh, basically a trailer to accommodate for all the needs that we've needed. We can start actually on the front here, right with the propane holder. So we got two 20-pound uh, tanks of propane we can hold and bring along on trips, which has been very useful the last couple days on this uh, for running our generator and for heating the tent at night. Other things you might notice on the outside is some nice lights for when we get to the campsite, which we did use right away when we got here to the Grand Canyon. First night to illuminate our campsite as we set up our tent. On top here, I don't have it on right now, but we do have a, a car top carrier that I can put on for extra room. Um, at, if we need it, uh, we tried it out and figured that we didn't need it for this trip. So uh, I'm trying to cut down the windage as much as possible, a little better gas mileage. So let's take a look inside and see some of the things I've done inside here. So both doors swing wide open, which is really nice for access. And as you can see, lots of room inside. We do have power strips in here, uh, both uh, 120 and USB. Um, runs off 120 for your campsite. You can plug in during the day. You can leave stuff in here. Charging locked up. Uh, works out really nice. And then I also threw on two 12 volt um, USB and power outlets is here as well. Um, that way when we're traveling, it plugs into the vehicle. We've got 12 volts and we can charge things on the go. Um, like refrigerators and stuff like that, we can also power. Threw in a little boat uh, system in there. Uh, fuses to help um, protect our LED lights. Also, let's go to our lighting as we've mentioned here. Got a bank of uh, switches here. So this first one uh, lights up our cabin in here really nicely. Um, we'll do some night shots of this. Really nice and bright inside here at night. And then the other two are for the outside lights. One for one side, the other one for the other side. The other one right now is empty, but I do have a future use for that I might get to eventually. Hoping to do, we didn't quite get there. Um, before this trip, uh, like I say, I've been working, um, trying to get this thing ready for this big trip. But the last thing I want to do is get about a 20 watt inverter, uh, 120 volt inverter, so I can plug into or attach to the 12 volt system. So when I'm plugged into a campsite, because right now all the LEDs is off 12 volt system, so right now I have to be plugged into the vehicle to get that to work. But you can see, like I say, lots of room. Got a little. Um, made this little deck here so that we can slide coolers in and out really nicely and then I can also store a lot of little things underneath. Go around on the back side here, um, I put a receiver hitch on the back. Uh, a couple purposes for that, basically to put on any amenities you want. You pop a bike carrier on here, carry some bikes around, also ran a connector right back here so we can plug through if the bike carrier has a, um, lights on it, we can plug in we'll have lights for that as well. Um, also put a couple stabilizing jacks here in the back so when I get back heavy and tip over on me. Other things I did back here is this thing here folds down. Um, the top behind this is when we get to the campsites. A lot of times we have to buy the wood right there at the campsite. So instead of having to throw the wood into the vehicle to go to our campsite, fold this down. We stack the wood on here. I got little hold downs so I can tie it down as we're going to our campsite. Uh, this door here is for the generator. We got a generator, uh, opens up. We can roll the generator in and out. I got my spare right here right now. Uh, but makes easy work of getting the generator in and out. And then on the back side of our trailer here as well, um, we've, I purposely left this area here for all of our stickers that we get from all our campsites. Uh, we've got several more to add to this. It is kind of dusty right now. I'm going through the Arizona desert here. Definitely got dusty here to last a uh, couple hundred miles. Uh, hopefully we can give it a bath. It is a nice red. But like I say, a nice area for our stickers that will keep us, give us memories for years to come. Alright, then we're on the other side, basically kind of identical to the other side. Two big doors that uh, open up so you get full access to the inside, which is really nice. Um, 
Once again, the platform, the cooler we have sitting up here, um, some of our totes for camping supplies, and anything else we want to throw in here along with. Light switches on this side here for interior and all the exterior lights. And then around in the front again, one more time, a uh, propane holder, and then this is my plug-in for the 120 volts when we're at the campsite. Um, like I say, that runs the power strips inside. So we can have things stored inside, locked up during the day while we're out hiking and still get everything charged up and not be worried about them. All right, any, th any future plans that you want to add on to this? Um, like I say, right now the inverter is the big thing. Um, I do want to get somewhere I can uh, store the spare tire. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be underneath or maybe on top here yet. Um, but otherwise, I've got it pretty much maxed out the way I like it for now. And right now we're just going to run it for the next year or so and see if I need to make any changes later on. Awesome. Well, wonderful job on this. Thank you. Thanks, thanks for sharing it with us. Okay, thank you so much for watching. Please let us know in the comments below if you have any questions about this trailer build. And please encourage my brother-in-law to start his own YouTube channel because he's so talented. If we get enough comments, he will start one and do a video on the build and kind of walk you through the build and the cost and everything. And in the meantime, you have a Facebook page. I do. Grain Bin Repurposing and Benzebos on Facebook. Uh, basically, Benzebo I made in my backyard. Um, and like I say, I started a Facebook page on it and it's taken off. Yeah, a lot of good information if you're interested in, in making a, a grain bin gazebo, benzebo. <laughs> please subscribe to Barry's Benzebo Facebook page. I'll put the link below. And please like and subscribe if you love this kind of camping content. Thanks so much for watching. Taking time out to be.